online. And good evening once again, everyone. I'm Bill Ritter, in for Sade. And I'm Diana Williams. And all new this half hour, two big developments in the attack on an activist rabbi in Brooklyn. It's a story that you first saw on Eyewitness News. The man suspected of throwing bleach in the face of Rabbi Nahum Rosenberg, turning himself over to police today. Meanwhile, the rabbi himself, an outspoken advocate of protecting sex abuse victims in the ultra-Orthodox Jewish community of New York, Tonight, speaking to Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett, N.J.'s in Williamsburg with new information. Newt. Oh, that's right, Bill. The rabbi says his vision is back, but the pain was unimaginable. He is convinced that this was payback, retribution, for supporting the victims of child sexual abuse in this community. Tensions here are clearly on the rise tonight. Hey, so why would you do that? 36-year-old Milek Schnitzler was arrested shortly after he turned himself in this afternoon. Less than 24 hours after he allegedly threw bleach into the eyes of his neighbor, Rabbi Nukim Rosenberg. And all of a sudden, boom, he puts it in my face and he runs off. Rabbi Rosenberg was shocked, but not surprised. He openly supported the victim in the case against Nikemia Weberman, convicted on Monday of serial child sexual abuse. Do you feel this was retribution for your appearance at the Weberman Trust? Well, 100% yes. The pedophiles and the rabbis are trying now to intimidate much worse because it's like a losing battle to them. What's more, the rabbi runs a hotline for child victims of sexual abuse here in Williamsburg, home to a tightly knit enclave of ultra-Orthodox Jews known as the Satmars. Schnitzler owns a local fish market and his father was named as a predator on the rabbi's website, according to the city's police commissioner. He is the son of someone who was named on the uh, victim's uh, internet site. That man, he says, has not been charged. The rabbi insists he will not be intimidated. They thought that they're going to blind me and I'll stop this war. If I would have to pick them up with a seen eye dog, I would pick them up. The suspect was led from the precinct in handcuffs just a few minutes ago and said nothing. He is expected to be charged tonight with assault. Live tonight in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Thanks, NJ. A court